Greetings from Unseen Reviewers, your one-stop channel for all things fantastical and sci-fi. We strive to provide comprehensive, spoiler-free reviews of science fiction and fantasy literature. Today, we delve into the gritty steampunk world of Perdido Street Station by China Myville. Perdido Street Station, a novel that catapults us into a world of bizarre creatures, arcane magic, and complex political machinations. The book, penned by the talented China Myville, is a journey into the heart of a city-state known as New Crobuzon. New Crobuzon is a melting pot of sentient races, each with their unique cultures and ways of life. You'll encounter the cactus-like cacticae, the aquatic Vodianoi, the insect-headed Kepri, and many more. The city's architecture is as diverse as its inhabitants, with structures that seem to defy the laws of physics and aesthetics, blending the industrial grittiness of steampunk with the ethereal beauty of magic. The city's political system is a labyrinth of power plays, corruption, and intrigue. It's a world where the power of the state, represented by the ominous militia, is ever-present, and where the lines between right and wrong are often blurred. Yet amid the gray morality, the citizens of New Crobazon strive for survival and maybe, just maybe, a better life. And then there's the magic. Meville reinvents the very concept of magic, intertwining it with science in a way that is both innovative and unsettling. Thaumaturgy, the magic of this world, is a craft as intricate as any scientific discipline, a tool wielded by both the powerful and the desperate. Perdido Street Station is a rich tapestry woven with intricate details and vibrant characters that breathe life into the city of New Crobuzon. Now, let's dissect what makes Perdido Street Station a standout in the realm of fantasy literature. China Miaville's Perdido Street Station is a masterclass in world building. The novel is set in New Crobuzon, a sprawling city-state teeming with all manner of beings, both human and otherwise. Meville crafts this world with an obsessive level of detail, creating a sense of place that is tangible and immersive. The city's grimy streets, its political machinations, and its social inequality are as much a character in the story as the individuals that inhabit it. Speaking of characters, Meville's cast is a motley crew of the fascinating and the grotesque. From Isaac, our scientist protagonist, to his insect-headed lover, Lynn, to the terrifying slake moths, each character is distinct and fully realized. They are flawed, complex beings, drawn with a depth that makes them feel real. Their intertwined destinies form the heart of the novel, driving a plot that is as intricate as the city itself. Perdido Street Station is not just a fantasy novel, it's a blend of genres. Miaville fuses elements of fantasy, steampunk, and even horror to create a story that defies categorization. The result is something wholly unique, a narrative that feels fresh and unpredictable. And Miaville is not afraid to delve into the darker side of his world. The novel explores themes of exploitation, corruption, and the abuse of power. It's a grim, sometimes brutal tale, but one that's compelling in its darkness. The narrative is unflinching in its portrayal of New Crobuzon's underbelly, adding a layer of grit and realism to the fantastical elements. In conclusion, Perdido Street Station is a testament to Meville's creativity and his ability to create a world that is as captivating as it is unnerving. It's a complex, challenging read, but one that rewards the effort with its richly detailed world, its compelling characters, and its genre-bending narrative. It's a standout in fantasy literature and a must-read for any fan of the genre. To wrap up our journey into Meville's New Crabuzon, it's safe to say that Perdido Street Station is a novel that's as challenging as it is rewarding. It's a rich tapestry of the bizarre and the beautiful, woven together with Meville's masterful prose. The city of New Crobuzon itself is a character, its winding alleys and towering spires brimming with life and mystery. The book's greatest strength lies in its world-building, the intricate and imaginative tapestry of species, politics, and magic that Meville has spun. That being said, this complexity might not appeal to everyone. The plot can be dense, the language ornate, but for those willing to plunge into the depths of New Crabuzon, the rewards are immense. In my opinion, Perdido Street Station is a masterclass in fantasy writing. It challenges conventions, pushes boundaries, and captivates with its vivid imagery and intricate world-building. But don't just take my word for it. Experience the twisted streets of New Crobuzon for yourself, meet its inhabitants, and delve into its mysteries. We hope you enjoyed this review of Perdido Street Station. 
Now we pass the question on to you, our unseen viewers. What did you think of Miaville's intricate world? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join us next time as we dive into another fantastical world here on Unseen Reviewers.